If you want two free stocks, click on the link in the description box of the video and Weeble is gonna give you two free stocks when you open up a Weeble brokerage account, deposit at least $100 in that brokerage account. Guys, you're gonna get two free stocks and they're gonna be valued up to $1,850. So if you want that free money, click on that Weeble link, open up your new brokerage account today. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about my biggest challenges I faced as I ran hard to obtain financial freedom. I get a lot of comments from you guys around, hey man, how do you overcome the obstacles that were in your way as you was running hard trying to get financial freedom? So I thought today I would do a video and tell you guys the top four challenges I faced and how I was able to overcome those challenges and put myself in a position where I'm financially free and I have more time, more choices, and more freedom in my life. Well, let's get started. The biggest challenge I faced, guys, was lifestyle. Now, let me walk you through that. If you followed my channel for a while, you'll know I played three years in the NFL. I played from 1991 to 1994. And during that three year run, I made pretty good money. Now you gotta also understand guys, this was in the early 90s. So today's NFL and what players make is a lot more. But think about 1991, if, if you're old enough, I know some of you guys are, I was making about $150,000 as an NFL player. Now, I wasn't a really high paid NFL player because I was a sixth round draft choice out of the University of Florida. Relative to the rest of the population, $150,000 was a lot of money in 1991. Now I played 1991, I played 1992, and in 1993, which would have been my last year plan, I was up around a couple hundred thousand dollars a year. Now I got back home after playing and I had to go get a job. And the reason I had to get a job was I wasn't fiscally responsible when I played my three years in the league. I made decent money, but I also lived a pretty good lifestyle. So after playing, I did not have very much to show for it. So I had to go out and get a job. Went out and got a job, I was gonna be making $30,000 a year. So I go from making a couple hundred thousand dollars a year to $30,000 a year. And that, guys, was a financial shock to me. But I had to figure out how to adjust my lifestyle from 200K a year to $30,000 a year. And the way I did that was I had to sit down and have a tough conversation with myself. I had a family I needed to support, so I needed to change the way I was spending money. And the way I did that was I just cut out all the things I was doing when I played in the league. So I wasn't going out of town and going to all these parties and buying all this extravagant stuff that I didn't need. I had to cut that stuff out. And the only way I was able to do that is because I had to have a why. And at that time, guys, my family was my why. I could not justify living a lifestyle that I couldn't afford and taking things away from my family. That was how I was able to overcome that lifestyle issue and that was my first biggest challenge on my way to financial freedom. The second biggest challenge was I had no experience with investing. I knew nothing about investing. I didn't have a background in investing as I was coming up. My family didn't do any investing. We lived paycheck to paycheck. So I just didn't have a foundation to be able to go out and start investing in real estate or the stock market or anything else. So that was a big challenge for me early on when I decided I wanted to pursue financial freedom. 
And the way I got around that or the way I overcame that challenge was I started studying and self-teaching myself how to do these things. The first thing I did was I went to a couple of seminars that dealt with people who were already financially free. And those seminars were put on a, by a company called Amway. And I know some of you older guys know what Amway is. I would ask you younger guys who don't know, do a Google search. But yeah, I went to a couple of those Amway meetings and that's where I uncovered Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. And that book changed my life. But that's where my investing education started with Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And then from there, I just continued to seek knowledge, self-taught knowledge around real estate investing as well as stock market investing. And as time went on, I got better at it. So I started out investing small. And then that small investment, and you guys know my story, I took 3,500 bucks that I had saved up over two years and I bought my first real estate property. I didn't know what I was doing. I knew nothing about real estate, but I had read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And Robert Kiyosaki said, don't be afraid. Leverage yourself. Don't let fear steal your financial future. So I just kept that in mind, I took that $3,500, I bought my first real estate property, and the rest is history. I overcame that challenge of not having an investment background or experience. I overcame that by knowledge, and then applying that knowledge to my situation and not being afraid. So guys, that was the second biggest challenge I had to overcome in my chase for financial freedom. The third thing I had to overcome was just fear itself. Fear of failure. You know guys, I had been an athlete all my life. I had done well in athletics. I had done well in college. But I was in an area where I was trying to chase this financial freedom thing that I really didn't know anything about and I was afraid to fail. And, you know, that almost kept me from, from, from doing what I needed to do in order to, to put myself in a position to, to have financial freedom. But you know some, it went, I went back to my teachings again from Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Don't let fear stop you or stand in your way. You gotta have something bigger than fear in order to motivate you and force you to move yourself forward. And for me again, guys, that's my why. And like I mentioned in my first biggest challenge, which was lifestyle, I overcame my fear because my family was my why and my family meant more to me than my fear. So anytime I started to get afraid of failure or man, I better not make that move. I better not do this. All I had to do guys was take five seconds and think about my family and say, hey man, you're gonna cheat your family or you're gonna just be, be afraid? You're gonna let fear cheat your family? You're gonna let fear stop you from doing what you need to do? And guys, that why is so important. If you don't have a big enough compelling reason to change your habits and to do things differently, you won't do it. You gotta have a big enough reason to force yourself, to convince yourself, to motivate yourself to do what you need to do. I challenge you guys, if you're running into problems with fear, sit down and think about what's important to you. Think about what's more important in your life than fear. And for me, it was my family. So that pushed me through that fear. Now I still have fear, guys. Even now that I'm, I've attained a level of success, I'm doing my thing, I was able to leave my corporate job, I'm doing well, I still have fear, I still have times where fear will try and creep back in and I do the same thing. I sit down, I take five seconds and I think about what's more important in my life currently than fear. And once I do that quick exercise guys, I quickly move on. I challenge you.
Don't let fear steal your financial future. Find out what your why is and you'll be good. You'll kick fear's butt. The last one, guys, is comfort zone. So now that I'm financially free and doing my thing, it's really, really easy for me to get into a comfort zone and just kind of relax and, and not continue to push myself. What I do now to make sure I don't get complacent or comfortable is I continue to challenge myself. You know, this YouTube thing has really helped me push myself, push my boundaries. It has helped me open up more and be uh, more transparent and, and engage with people. Because guys, believe it or not, I'm a introvert. I, I mean, I, I will do really well on my own. If I didn't have to talk to anybody all day long or for a week, I'd be fine. Because that's just kind of the way I'm stitched together. And I have to really work hard at building and developing relationships. And that's one of the reasons why I really, really like this YouTube platform. We all have different things we want out of life, guys. What I want out of life are gonna be different than what you guys want out of life. What you have to remember is, don't get complacent. Don't fall into a comfort zone. If you got a plan and you're starting to have some success with that plan, it's easy to say, whoa, I got this thing under control. I'm gonna pull back. I'm not gonna work as hard. I'm not gonna stay up late. I'm not gonna get up early. I'm not gonna do that little extra. Don't, get, don't fall into that trap, because that's one that I work very hard to not fall into at this point in my life. Drop me some comments and tell me what some of your biggest challenges are as you pursue your financial freedom. You know, money is nothing but a tool. We know that, right? We can agree on that. But use money to be able to give you some things that you want in your life, like time, freedom, and choices. That's what money does for me. I, I, I could care less about money, but what I really want are those three things. And money helps me get that. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing, share the video, and give me a thumbs up. It helps the channel and it helps me too. Thoughts become things. If you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. If you want two free stocks, click on the link in the description box of the video, and Weeble is going to give you two free stocks when you open up a Weeble brokerage account, deposit at least $100 in that brokerage account. Guys, you're going to get two free stocks, and they're going to be valued up to $1,850. So if you want that free money, click on that Weeble link, open up your new brokerage account today. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.